Good morning, and I'm in the kitchen this morning. This is Robin, and thank you for joining me. I'm going to make some peanut butter balls, and I'm going to show you the ingredients, and I'm going to bring you back when I'm ready to get started. Okay, it's a half a cup of soft butter, which is a stick, a half a cup of peanut butter, a cup of confectionery sugar, and a bag of semi-sweet morsels, which this is chocolate and peanut butter. I thought this would go great since peanut butter is inside. So let me bring you back when we're ready to get to put this together. Welcome back. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our butter and we're going to put it in our mixer. And I'm going to get me my knife. And we're going to add the peanut butter and we're going to cream them together. Okay, they're cream together. Now I'm going to add the one cup of confectionery sugar. I'm going to stir it slow until it gets going. Then I'm going to mix it a little bit faster. You want to do that until it's all combined. Which it is. You're going to have. Okay, that's good enough. So, we want to put some parchment on a pan. And we want to roll these out into little balls. I have a scoop, so that's what I'm going to use. I have a little tiny mini scoop. So I'm just going to plop them right down, just like that. Get the rest of this off there. We're going to pop these in the freezer until they're solid, and then we're going to dip them. And I will bring you back for that. I'm trying to get all that off there. Good enough. Come on. There we go. Come on. Anyways, I'm just going to do 12, and then I'm going to put these in the freezer, and I'll bring you back when I'm ready to do the next step, which I'm almost there. And there we go. So I will bring you back when I'm ready to do the next step. Welcome back. Now I'm getting ready to take the candy out of the freezer. It's been in for about an hour. I've got the peanut butter chocolate morsels. These are semi-sweet. And I also got golf wax. 
I've got two little cubes of that. So what I've started doing over here is I got my candy already atop of a double broiler. So what I want to do is I want to add these two things of golf wax. I find that this does the best trick. You want to throw that in and that starts to melt with the chocolate chips. It makes it more smooth and it doesn't freeze up. So that's what I'm going to do. And, if, and when I'm ready to dip, I've got like a cake tester. This has got a, like a square edge. To me, it's the best way. Um, if you've got a wooden stick, it's easy to break. So I've got this on high. I'm going to put this stuff away. And I'm going to bring my candy out when I'm ready to dip it. I'm not going to do it until then. Let me just give my counter a quick wipe. I wanted to do this before I head it out and get it all done. There we go. Alrighty, let's see how we're doing. These are just starting to melt. What I'll do instead of you waiting is I'll bring you back when I'm ready to dip these. Welcome back. I added two tablespoons of butter and a little tiny bit of French vanilla cream just to smooth things out. So let's put the um, dip these. They're nice and hot. They've been in the freezer for way over an hour. I'm going to show you how I do it. I got my mixture turned way down to medium low and it's nice and smooth. So these are really, really hard right now. So this is what you do. As you can tell, I've got these all dipped, but I'm going to take some chocolate and I'm going to brush it on the ones that are not covered. Just go right over the hole where I inserted the um, metal cake tester. Just brush it right on just to make them look pretty. There might be some that's lacking. That's all you want to do just to fix it to make it look pretty. Then you want to put these back in the freezer until they harden back up. And you could use the rest of the chocolate in other recipes because there's still some chocolate here and it's not all going to get used. So I'm going to leave it in my double broiler for later and find a recipe to put it in. <coughs> Welcome back. I just wanted you guys to see these after they've sat in the freezer. They got a nice hard bottom and a hard crust. So we're going to take one of the ones that doesn't have a lot of chocolate on it. I'm just going to cut it. And I'm going to show you the inside. And there you go. I'm going to put these in little bags. These are going to be for a Christmas gift. So I hope you like my peanut ball recipe. And... Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.